Hear me well. Hey Dragon Knights, this is Dragon Dragon. Welcome to another Dragon Knight video. Today I'm just doing a a quiz. Since a lot of you are into Doctor Who stuff, I want to show you just how badly I know, or how little I know about Doctor Who. So I this I'm doing a a Doctor Who quiz. It's literally called "How Well Do You Know Doctor Who." It's, as uh, the subtitle uh, or the description of it says, not many people truly understand Doctor Who. This quiz determines whether you are one of the passion or passive Doctor Who watchers or a true fan. Uh, let's start with the first question. When did Doctor Who first start? Um, is Probably before the 2000, so I'm going to say uh, eight eyed. Mm. Number two, everything has its time and everything dies, is a quote from which regeneration. Of the doctor. Um, I don't know any of these names, but since te the only reason I know about this name is because of a uh, an old RWJ video. I'll post that in the. Uh, it should show up somewhere in the video. Uh, probably on the uh, right of the page. Uh, next question: What are the two of, uh, or what are the t the names of the third and fourth Doctor? Um, you have it in there already. You have it up here. Third Doctor is John. Fourth Doctor is Tom. So obviously that will be uh, be picked. <laughs> I wish they didn't do so uh, such easy questions like that. Um, in which episode is the regeneration of the Doctor played by David? David Tennant first properly introduced. I'm going to say I don't know, so I'm just going to pick one here. Actually, New Earth sounds like uh, something that would be a title. In the episode The Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit. What was the name of the man being controlled by the devil? Um, they got three Zeds in there, so I'm assuming it's one of those. Actually, I'm going because this one sounds uh, like a, a real name. I'm going to go for Christopher Boone. Um, in the episode Planet of the God. No, 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 get, stay there. Thank you. In the episode Planet of the God. In episode, or series four. Oh, sorry, uh, I haven't had much sleep last night. Uh, in series four, what does uh, Donna reply with after being called Miss by the uh, Ood? Odd? Ood? I don't know. Uh, hmm. 
Usually people think me and I what? Usually people think me and in are together and in okay. I think they might say and him. I'm guessing. Uh, observant of you not to have seen a ring, eh? Uh, I don't, I won't miss a thing for much longer, believe me. Uh, why do you say miss? Do I look single? Wow. Uh, do you say miss? Cause I uh, look young, or cause I am like no one who would marry me. Ooh, it's a, a tough one between uh, the one, this last two. Yeah, these last two, and uh, the second one here. I would go for this one. Only because it sounds like something that someone would say in in a cheap show like that. And yes, I called the Doctor Who stuff cheap. Because it, it's boring. It's... Um, I don't know, just... I am using all together. Uh, in the episode Gridlock in Series 3, which... Him, him, and is sung by the drivers of the motorway. I probably pronounced him and wrong. I'm sure someone out there is going to correct me. Uh, uh, drivers of the motorway to keep their morals up as they tell on a a journey that seems never ending. Mm. Huh. I don't know anything. I don't know what him actually means. So if I were to pick, though, I'm going to say. Be not afraid. No. Yeah, I'm going to say that. In the Lazarus, Lazarus, the Lazarus experiment. What does Lazarus say whilst? on the TV that causes the doctor to say and and investigate or stay and investigate I'm going to show every human that time travel is possible no human will ever doubt that teleportation is real even ever again I am going to change what it means to be human. I am going to re regenerate, allowing myself to live a whole new life. Ooh. I don't. We're not. Yet. Uh. Hmm. Should I pick this? I'm gonna say this one because it's the only one that doesn't, eh, doesn't uh, talk about something unreal. Uh, what is the name of Martha Jones? Or Martha jo Jonas? Dad's girlfriend. I would not know. I would just say Kate.
Well, who is your favorite doctor out of the uh, most recent series from John 5? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any of these names. But Matt Smith sounds like the easiest to to say, so I'll use that one. And let's see how well I know. Test score is very bad. I got 20%. Oh shoot! Damn! I wish I could get rid of this uh, optimizer pro that's giving me all these stupid ads. Uh, like this one that just pops up. Um, what does this mean? You really have no idea. Please go away and do some research. <laughs> Not like I would want to anyway. Doctor Who. I stand by what I said. Doctor Who stinks. Uh. I'll be right back with the next test. Or quiz. Or whatever. So, just one sec. Hey, Jay, I see this right? Oops, I already did that. Hey, Jay, Welcome back. Uh, this is the second one. Uh, this quiz is called "What Family Guy are, Character Are You?" There's only five in this, so I'm going. So I got two other uh, quizzes set up as well, and I made a third w or added a fourth one that has nothing to do with the topics I'm I'm doing right now. Uh. Let's see. The first question: If you're a fruit, if you were a fruit, what fruit would you be and why? Apple because it's sweet. Raspberry because it is all but uh, packs a mean punch. A pear because it uh, has a sexy, a sexy shape and people like it. And all because I need it uh, for my. Martinis, yeah, I'm not going to do that one. A banana because it's uh, soft and squishy and fun to play with. Okay, uh, a passion fruit because it uh, has the word passion in it. Right. A grapefruit because you can squirt someone in the eye with it. Um, <laughs> the, this one is pretty funny I would admit that uh, this one's not kind of funny as well um, I'm not much of a drinker so this one wouldn't work for me and I hate olives um, this one would make this one just makes sense but that's not why I'm picking it I'm not actually going to pick it anyway uh, I'm going to pick a raspberry I love raspberries. Actually, that's better than all of those that that are in the list. Well, for me. Otherwise, if it, if it was a cherry on there, then I would have said that because that has a, a better you know, taste to it than raspberries. If you could be a contestant on one of the following fake reality shows, which would you be? Or which would you choose? America's Next Top Bartender. I'm not much of a bartender. Uh, conquering the world. The next world leader. That sounds like something that Steve would do. From the Family Guy show. Um, Real Societies. New York. Oh, Social... So Socialites? Okay, I don't know what that is. So, that's going to be another question. Wrestling with reality. The next heavyweight champion. No. The artist. 
Dating with the Stars. Me Elegy TV. Watch you. Watch. Watch you being you. What? So a TV show all about myself. That would be <laughs> interesting, but no. Actually, no. It would be kind of boring. My life is pretty boring. Uh, dating with the stars. Um, there are stars that you know, would be interesting to date, but I don't know. The artist? No, I'm not an artist. Uh, wrestling with reality. The neck? No. Just no. Uh, I don't understand the third one in the list. Um, I do like like drinking, but that's uh, on and off. So it's between that and dating. Dating would you know, be more interesting, though. Dogs are puppy. Where? Where's the puppy? I like doggies. They're cool. <laughs> They're cool. Uh, good for mm, conversations. That's true, I guess. Fantastic, a superior species to most. I wouldn't say that they're sus superior. I would say that mm, dogs and cats actually have si have uh, different reasons that there's. Uh, so good. I mean, dogs are uh, st stupid, where cats are lazy. So that's that kind of cancel each other out because they're both uh, they both have negatives there. Um. Anyway, uh, back to to the question. Uh, always are so not cool. That's incorrect. Uh, dogs are sweet and adorable. Usually they are. Did someone, did somebody say doggy style? Giggity. That's definitely a quagmire thing. <laughs> uh, man's best friend. Hmm. Man's best friend is uh, a real thing. Uh, dogs and puppies are actually uh, cool. So that's uh, that's another good one. And another one is sweet and adorable. They you, they're about ninety five to ninety nine percent adorable. There are the odd ones that are ugly, mostly because of uh, how the owners or partners as some people call them or companions or whatever uh, it's mostly because they treat them uh, differently so it mainly depends up on the owner or companion or whatever you want to call them um, I would say they are cool so I'll pick that one Your favorite type of movie is drama, musical. There are different kinds. Oh boy. <laughs> Romance, porn. <laughs> of course. Uh, comedy, action. I've actually seen maybe one porn, and I was. I'm bored of it. Comedy, I, uh, who doesn't like comedy actually? Um, action is about 65, 45, roughly. I probably did that wrong. 35, 45. 35, 65. Like, anyway, um, romance, I would say comedy, if it was comedy romance, then yes. Or romantic comedy, as some people call it. Uh, drama, not so much. 
things like Days of Our Lives and stuff, I get bored easily. Anyway, uh, musical, uh, I don't get as bored, but I do get uh, bored with them after a while. Uh, the only one that I didn't get bored with was uh, the first Grease movie. Um, I'm just going to pick the different kinds. Uh, who watches Family Guy more, Gu girls or guys? Men like me, men like me love Family Guy, and watch it way more than girls. Women, uh, women like me love Family Guy. We watch it all the time. Us men uh, like Family Guy, but girls watch it more. M men watch TV too much, unlike us girls. So men definitely watch more Family Guy. Ooh. Shoot, I'm not even sure really. Uh I would go for this, I guess. Let's see how I did. Well, let me guess. I gotta get out of full. Sorry about that. My video cut off as soon as I went out of full screen. Uh, I don't know why. Wait, is there something I missed? Nope. Oh, it seems, that, it seems like that one's buggy. Let's go with the next um, quiz. It's uh, <laughs> the Simpsons trivia. Uh, welcome to the Simpsons trivia. We have over... Wow. 340 handcrafted trivia questions on the popular Fox television show, The Simpsons. Answer the most questions and be inducted into the Simpsons Trivia Hall of Fame. Also try our new South Park Trivia. No thanks. I'm not sure how well I'm going to do so. I apologize in advance. Uh, who said when I grow up, I want to be a principal or a caterpillar. Millhouse, Bart, Ralph, Martin. That sounds like something Ralph would say. What does Bart want to come back as in the next in his next life? Wow, turtle, butterfly, scorpion, rat. Uh, I would say. Between C and D, I'm gonna say no. Okay. Surprised he didn't want to be a rat. Where's the next question? Okay, I'm going to have Hey, Dragon Knights. Uh, sorry about that. I hope the game will actually work this time. I don't know what happened earlier. Um, let's see. So we're starting this over. When Homer decides to make a football his fourth child, what does he name it? Stitch Face, Bart Jr., Maggie 2, Pigskin. I'm going to say Maggie 2. That sounds like something that he would do. No? Oh, you can get four out of five chances. Okay. What is Principal Skinner's mother's name? First name? Joanne? 
Matilda, Martha, Agnes. I'm gonna go with Agnes? Yes, okay. What was the signal that it was time for Apu's wedding? Lily wrapped in a lily pad. Two attached skulls. A lotus flower. A silver tongue. If I remember correctly, it was the lotus flower. Yep. Who said, What are you crackling at, fatty? Too much pie? That's your problem. Grandpa Simpson, Groundke Groundkeeper Willie, Principal Skinner, March Simpson. Uh, I'm guessing that. Would be, uh, too much pie. I'm guessing Skinner would probably be out of that because I don't think he's actually eaten pie on the show. And he, I don't think he's actually talked about pie on on the show. Uh, groundskeeper Willie, I don't think he actually uh, had anything to do with uh, pies. Marge uh, Simpson uh, did big pies uh, in a few episodes. Uh, Grandpa Simpson, though, he... I don't think he would actually say something like that, so I'm going to say Marge. I was wrong? Okay. What was the name of... Oh, the name of Homer Simpson's bowling team. The Pin Pals, the Ball Boys, the Holy Rollers, the Ballers. It was... <laughs> the Pin Pals... I remember that one. What was the name of the juice that Homer, uh, Homer's hippie friend made, or hippie friends made? Peace of mind. Seth and Munchie's garden blast. Groovy groove. Carrot, carrot and water. Uh, I don't remember this, so I'm gonna have to pick at random here. Or better yet, hint. Where's the hint? The answer is not D. Okay. Is that really the only hint? Okay. Uh. Groovy groove. No. Okay. Which of the following is one of Springfield's four most popular bullies? Bart Simpson, Kearney, Snake, Millhouse. Millhouse, I know, is not a bully at all. Uh, Snake is not a bully. He's actually a... Uh, what's it called? He's actually a convict. So it's between Kearney and Bart Simpson. I'm going to say Kearney? Yeah. Bart Simpson didn't really uh, join their so-called gang for a while, so... What is the name of Jay Sherman's TV show? The movies... J, coming attraction, the movie man. I'm going to say coming attraction. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Who hosts the TV show Smart Line? Ooh, Crusty the Clown, Roger Myers Jr., the Spanish Bee, Kent Brockman. Between, uh, Cressy did actually uh, host a couple shows during the video or b during the show. One, 
there was like th three different shows I think he had. Um, Roger Myers, I don't remember. I don't actually remember who that is. The Spanish B, I don't think would actually be in there because uh, he's Spanish. He's not actually uh, understandable too much. So I'm gonna say Kent. Yeah. What machine helps Mo on his date in the spin-off uh, showcase episode? Pinball machine, vending machine, love mach love tester, washing machine. I remember that love tester actually uh, was in one of the shows or one of the episodes. What type of guitar does Poochie play? Uh, oh yeah, Poochie was the third character that they added for one or two seasons, or one or two episodes, and then they removed it. Mm. Flying V, Strat, BC Rich, Ibanez, GSA, I'm going to say the Strats. No? Oh, I should have used the hint. Hold well, What's the name of Cletus's smell hound? Cletus. Which one is Cletus again? One second, I'm going to search up who Cletus is. Cletus. Oh, he's that one. Okay, uh, Meech, Merle, Earl, Geech, Hint, is that C, okay, is it going to be Merle, no, nope. Geech, probably, and I lost with, I stopped with 35 points, let's see how well you guys going to do, I'll put, the, or, actually, the, the website is actually on top right if you actually pay attention there. It's uh, the Simpsons Trivia dot com. I'll put that in the link below as well. In the link in the description below. Um next one I have is Do you know Ray William Johnson? First question came up was Rounding up to the nearest uh, year, how long has Ray Will Ray William Johnson, in other words, been making videos for? Uh, I'm going to say six years. Who is Ray dating? Currently, he's not dating anyone, so this would be I incomplete. But uh, he was dating Anna. And this appears to be an old one, anyways. Fill in the blank. What's happening? Uh, forum. Who said that Ray made you know, over a million dollars a year? I'm gonna say Wall Street Journal. Ah, that was New York Times, not Wall Street. Um. What is one of the apps that Ray sells? Hit my hand. It sounds familiar. Viral video of the day. He doesn't sell apps. Pimp, pimp hand so hip yeah, pimp hand strong. I'm gonna oh, that's between pimp hand strong and pimp my hand. Pimp hand strong. What is the correct spelling? Puffa ever. Puffy ever. That's the correct spelling. Puffy ever. Puffy ever. Puffy and ever. There you go. What is it? Cutest funny little thing. Cutest, cutest furry. Or sorry, 
Cutest furry little thing. Cutest furry little guy. What? Cutest furry little bastard. Um. I hope I bleep that out before I post it. Uh. Cutest furry. Cutest furry little guy. A little thing. Is Ray a cat person or a dog person? Wow, two of them say uh, dog. One says cat. One says cat and dog. <laughs> I like how it has a little pause there. Um. He's definitely a cat person. Cause if he is, if you've ever seen his uh, his IRL videos, you'd notice that he actually had a he had about three cats, I think, at one time. What is Ray's new vlog channel? Runaway Earth, Paper Town, Breaking NY, Runaway Planet. Oh, it's between the bottom two. Hmm. Don't say how how old this uh, this quiz was. So I'm going to say Runaway Pla Runaway Planet. Uh. Emergency d dental surgery. Yes, he had to get it and was dragged up after. No, what? Really? I don't know why this uh, no is uh, on the left. Uh. I'm gonna say no. What? Really? What I am of his prote projects, uh, or which, what, what one of his, which one of, I think he meant to say which one, of his projects was cancelled right before releasing an album. That's an easy one. Your favorite Martian. Fill in the blank. A movie came out about my life. Say it's called. The Hobbit. Jedi and a YouTube channel. Nothing. He never said that. I say the Hobbit. Name two of Ray's cats. Congress was one of them. Yeah, Congress and Jim A. Good job, guys. I hope you you all know your Ray William Johnson. This question doesn't count, but will will you comment and like? It will mean a lot, and without you guys, it would just be an idiot with a computer. I would just be an idiot with a computer. Uh, yes, no, maybe. Oh, really? Why is she asking us this? I would say this because <laughs> why would you be asking if you need it so badly? Um, ooh, I got nine out of fourteen incorrect or correct. I mean, so I got sixty-four percent. Let's see which ones are, or what does it say? Sort of, better than most, but you really need to learn your equals three jokes. Keep watching. Here's where I got wrong. Uh, wait, it won't show? Damn it. Okay, then I'll go to my uh, final one, which, this is the one that I said uh, does not have any, um, any relation to what I, what I've actually posted, this is called, "What's your real name?" There's only seven questions for this one. I know this is going a little long, but please bear with me. Uh, first question. Hi, I'm Swanette, but you can call me Swanee. What, 
or so what's your favorite color favorite color is purple why do you want to know anyway it's blue it's well there's so many but I'll have to go with orange that's my favorite color too uh, green just any kind of green unfortunately I have I can't choose any of them because neither of them are my favorite color but just because I'm going to say blue well for this question I think I think they meant I think all of you are really uh, handsome or beautiful depending on if you're male or female anyway do you think you're hot cute whatever out of uh, 10 I think I am 10 and nothing less sorry if I'm too straightforward I have nothing against it uh, 3 to 8 okay I don't know maybe 6 to 8 well someone seems shy LML just kidding I think that's going to be LOL uh, 8 to 9 no one's perfect very true fact um, I would say lower than 6 but some but they didn't put that on here, so I'm going to pick. Uh, three to eight. Am I this person? I am. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, what kind of person are you? B. B two. Wrong type of two. Totally honest. I'm loyal, cute, and honorable. I don't know about uh, cute. Um, good looking and nice-ish. Nice-ish. Uh, nice. -ish. What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, but I can be mean or strict if needed, or just in the mood. Ooh, just in the mood, huh? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm the person that looks out for myself and smart when it comes to education. Uh, I don't know about that one. Have lots, wrong type of lot, lots of friends. I am very playful but you know, also protective um I'm going to pick this one have you ever been in love or in a relationship uh, let's see the answers are yes I have and I'm in a relationship currently no, I've never been in love. I've never, I never have been in a relationship. No, I have never been in love, but I've been in a relationship before. Uh, no, I have not been in love, but I always choose to be a friend instead of being in a relationship. When it's time, I will be tough. Huh. Definitely not that one, because that sounds off. Uh, not the first two, so I have to. I have actually been in a relationship, so between these two. There's no... Uh, no, I, I have been in love, but no, I'm not in a relationship. That type's not on here. So I'm going to have to pick this one. It's the only one that's close. What's your favorite season? 
Mine's Mine's is winter. I think I might say mine is or mine's winter. <laughs> you you gotta pick mine's or mine is. You gotta I don't know. Uh summer, fall, spring, winter as well. What? I don't know why they add as well to that last one. Um I don't have a favorite, so I'm gonna pick. Uh, I like winter because you can do more outside without having to worry about freezing your uh, arse off, and without actually uh, hurting yourself on on uh, on the ground like ice and stuff. But I like winter because uh, uh, it's uh, cool and it's not too hot. Summer it's uh, uh, usually the opposite, it's not too cold. The only difference is it's also too hot during the, during the summer here, and it's too cold during the summer here. Or during the winter here, I mean. So, <laughs> wow. Uh, spring and fall here uh, doesn't seem much different. So... Hmm. This is a tough one. I'll pick summer because I can actually do more then. Will you, uh, will you heart like comment? What? Heart like comment? Wow. Yes. Was there a snake in there? <laughs> Maybe. Of course. No. Uh, I'm going to have to say no because it's actually in the video. I can't really do that. But anyway. Um, bye, bye. Have a great time. I hope you like the quiz. Because these things are a real piece of work. Let me tell you. I'll tell you. Anyways, bye. Uh, I didn't realize this was going to be a question. Bye to you as well. Bye. Bye bye. See ya. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, whatever. And I get April. That's my real name, April. Your name or supposed to be named is April. You're smart, innocent, and beautiful. You put others before or you put yourself before others and will do anything to make your future bright. Though you may seem a bit selfish like how they put a pause there you really uh, do care for others but try to make sure you're in a good mm, good place first but underneath that shell you're really fun and cool to be around your favorite color is blue really that's what I literally just said in the quiz while recording this sorry if you're a guy it's basically the same thing your name or supposed name supposed name to be uh, name is Zach which is it? am I supposed to be April or Zach? <laughs> wow <laughs> anyway uh, I'm gonna be posting a, a vlog sh vlog soon um, the next vlog is going to be a challenge uh, video um, how many do I ha have here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve, uh, uh twelve envelopes, each with uh, different things on it. Uh, ranging from, uh, let's see, I have crushed chili peppers, Indian seasoning. 
Wait, is that Indian seasoning? Italian seasoning. Oh, I read it wrong. Uh, yeah, I got crushed, crushed chili peppers, Italian seasoning, black pepper and salt mixed together, sugar, salt, oregano, that's that powder, oregano, not stuff from the, well, you know what I mean, uh, seasoned salt, instant ground, or instant coffee grounds, paprika, black pepper, taco seasoning, and, uh, Cheese uh, sauce, or oh, cheese sauce powder is supposed to be. Uh, it's that uh, cheese sauce stuff, or that powder stuff that's used for mac and cheese. I hate mac and cheese, but it happened to be in my cupboard, so I added that to the list. Anyway, um, please post post a number between. Uh. Between one and twelve. Actually, no. I'm going to do this uh, on Twitter, so you better be watching on uh, Twitter uh, uh, right after you're done with watching this, and go to my Twitter and use at Draco's Dragon. Um, put a hashtag. Uh, mystery challenge yeah hashtag mystery challenge that would be what it's called um and then put your number uh, between 1 and 12 in the in your or your twitter or your tweet so yeah uh, you use hashtag mystery challenge on tw on Twitter at Draco's Dragon, with your envel envelope number between one and twelve that you want me to to uh, to eat. Uh, you can also post on there with uh, hashtag uh, Ask Draco's. Uh, you can post your questions on there with that hashtag, and um, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much all I got. Uh, all I have, because there is going to be an, a hashtag Ash and Draco's uh, video coming soon. Uh, so that's why I decided to add that to this uh, to the ending here. Anyway, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you like this video, uh, let, hit the like button and let's try to get, I'm going to say, 20 likes. If we can get 20 likes, then I might do may do more of these uh, uh, more of these quizzes and tests. Um, like I said, 20 likes, then there'll be more than tests. Uh, also, we seem to be stuck at the 40, 45 to 47 subscriber mark area. Uh, once we, if we can reach the 50 subscriber mark, I may do a giveaway. Um, not sure yet, but uh, or not sure what it's going to be yet. But uh, of course, we have to actually reach that uh, that 50 subscriber mark first. So yeah, uh, please, uh, please, excuse me. Please uh, let er let other people know about this channel and see if we can reach um, 50 subscribers. I'm going to say by the end of uh, if we can reach 50 subscribers by the end of uh, of April, then uh, then there'll be a, a shout out video. If we can reach uh, 60 subscribers, then there'll be a a uh, a giveaway video. If we can reach uh, 75 or or more subscribers, uh, then there'll be both uh, a shout out video or a shout out and and giveaway uh, at the same time. At and there will also be a. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Uh, ice bath challenge. 
So yeah, please post uh, comment section below. Uh, or please put. Let's see. The question for you guys will be to post. Or I'm gonna give you questions from now on to answer in the comment section below. Uh, your your question for this week or this video will be. Um, what is your favorite color? And why? Technically, that's kind of like a two in one question. But anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, let's try to get the at least the 50 uh, subscriber mark. Let's try to get at least the uh, 20 uh, likes mark for if you want to see more of these videos or more of these quiz videos. Uh, and go to uh, Twitter at. Ha or at Draco Dragon with hashtag uh, mystery uh, mystery challenge, and uh, po post your number or envelope number that you want me to uh, to uh, uh, eat on video. And I guess that's about it. Like, share, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you, Dragon Slayer. See ya.